everyone, welcome to the episode of Let's Complete the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. In the last episode, we completed the main Blood Moon DLC storyline, although it's kind of like, well, yeah, I guess it is the, the main storyline. There's also this whole Raven Rock thing, which is kind of like a, a secondary storyline almost, but it's not the name sake of the DLC, so I guess it's not really a main storyline, but it's kind of as big as the main storyline. I don't know. But anyway, and the point is, in today's episode, we are going to be doing some side quests. I've got to turn on God Mode. There we go. Problem solved. So, we have one more side quest to do at, uh, here. Fort Frost Moth, and I don't know which door we need to be going in. No, not the armory. We are looking for the shrine. Here we go. Imperial Cult Shrine, and we need to talk to this man. Yes, Jolene, who we talked to before. So Something tells me I might regret it. Okay, but I mean, I kind of, I, I mean, I just like, you know, enacted justice for you for the, you know, skooma guy or that Uncle Sweet share, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, apparently, uh, so he's got a quest for us. So I have an important cult matter in my mind right now. Well, why don't you tell me about that? And then maybe I can help. Yes, you see, my protege, Marisa, left the shrine over a month ago for those forsaken frozen wastes. Her challenge was to bring the word of the Imperial cult to the local savages. She hasn't returned, and I fear the worst. Is that the Skarl, or...? What else would you call them? They're hardly civilized with all that bear and wolf worship, and they hardly even recognize the Nine Divines. Most Nords too busy worshipping heathen gods like Alduin and Orki? I think that's, uh, an alternative name for Malakath, maybe? But why would... Why would the Nords worship Malakat? Maybe, maybe RK? I'm not sure who Orki is. I don't know. <laughs> That's why Marissa's missionary work is so important. I mean, I, maybe they just have different religious beliefs to you? Is that really so hard to believe? Uh, also, aren't you a red guard? Don't, I mean, I, everywhere's kind of been colonized by the Imperials, but if you're a red guard, surely you would have your own pantheon? Oh, well. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, missionary work? Maurice has a passion for preaching. She thought she could be effective, more effective by spreading the tenets of the Imperial cult to the residents of Solstheim. It's dangerous but necessary work. Her journeys into the wild have been very successful in the past, but Marissa never returned from her last outing. I fear something terrible has happened to her. I don't suppose you'd be willing to look for Marissa? She means a great deal to me. That is, she, her work is very important to the Imperial cult. You have to, you have the look of the adventurer around you, Avelin. If you could find Marissa and return her to me, I would gladly empty the shrine's coffers into your purse. She left her over a month ago, heading north towards Lake Fjolding. You should begin your search in that area. Oh, they're not even going to tell us where she is? Okay, I mean... I, yeah, I mean, when he says savages, he could be referring to this skull, but he could also be referring to Thursk. Uh, so, are we going in the right direction? Yeah, I mean, we know where Lake Fjolding is, so... Yeah, I mean, it could be this skull, or it could be Thursk. We may as well stop it at both of them, because uh, there is also uh, a quest or two at, at the uh, Thursk Meat Hall that we need to do anyway. So we need to be stopping in there uh, while we're over here anyway. So yeah, we may as well stop it. I d yeah, I'm not really sure who he's referring to when he says savages, but <laughs> pretty much just any Nord. This is a very cool, very, very cool little landmark thing we've got going on here now. I don't remember exactly where Thursk was. It's definitely... In the, yeah, we need to be going a little bit more, a little bit more to the right. Some of these wolves are dead, but some of them are not. So, is that like, I'm assuming the enemies have respawned, but the old ones that I've already killed haven't despawned, which is kind of weird, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, definitely been here. <laughs> you can tell by the trail of bodies that I've left behind. Uh, yeah, probably shouldn't, uh, yeah, if we forget about covering our tracks, you know, our footprints, we should really just uh, clean up the bodies. There was uh, something I could activate there, but I think it's just a plant. We still, yeah, okay, well, this is the lake, so that's great. <laughs> I was going to say, I was getting my, uh, my, uh, my consonants mixed up there, and, and of course it's, uh, oh, no, okay, I was going to kill you, but no, no, you're, yes, of course, yeah, Rolf, Rolf Longtooth, of course, I mean, why hasn't he gone back to the village? I don't even know, but okay. Where is Thirst Mead Hall? It's definitely around here somewhere, I mean, actually, can we ask this guy about, um, Marisa or whatever she was called? Where is he gone? Oh, is that it? Yes, that's him. Okay, yeah, I don't think he'll have anything to say about her, but we can ask, I suppose. Uh, can we ask about a Marisa? No? Okay. Uh, well, what about, can I ask you about 
uh, thirst meat hall at all? Will you tell me where it is? No? Okay, well, thanks for nothing, I guess. What? I thought I just heard, like, something attack me, but... <laughs> no, I guess I'm just imagining things. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, wait, is it you? Do, do you have beef? Okay, yeah, this guy has beef. Fair enough, fair enough. I, mean, I didn't really do anything, but... <laughs> it is what it is, I suppose. Okay, where is Thirst Meat Hall? Wasn't it a little bit... It was on this side? I think. I mean, I know where it is in Skyrim. <laughs> but the geography doesn't, uh, doesn't perfectly match up, so that doesn't really mean much, to be honest. I mean, I would think it would be pretty easy. Oh, wait, no, isn't it? Yeah, it Thirst. There we go, see? I was about to say, isn't it on the map? And yes, indeed it is. So, it should be right over here. Let's just stab that Reekly in the butt. He wasn't even attacking me. I just thought I'd do it preemptively. So, this is Thirst. And yeah, they do have quests for us in here. Did we actually go in here? I don't think so. We did speak to the guy outside, though, didn't we? Maybe? Oh, yeah, over here, right? And he gave us the quest about the, yeah, the, the snow bears and stuff. Okay, yeah, there we go. Finally found someone interested. Huh? It was horrible of Valen. I had finally found someone interested in my custom snow bear armor and snow wolf armor. We were talking about prices when suddenly his hideous black beast came up from the ice lake. It it killed my customer. Then it went inside the meat hall. I heard screaming, sounds of battle. Then the thing came out again, pierced with arrows. It headed back towards the lake, but first it came back from my customer and dragged off his body. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, look, and we do have an uh, option to talk about Marisa. I... <laughs> I'm sorry, do it... What? Oh, yeah, also, yeah, Br Brynjolfa. <laughs> Almost like Brynjolf. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, so, yeah, we do have we do have snow bear pelts. That's great. What should we make? I want to... Uh, uh, it's not really a quest, but I want to make something. Let's just make a cure, shall we? You've got my list of armor. I can't make... Oh, right, okay. We don't have enough. Okay, fair enough. Fair Did enough. You see the size of that beast? Okay, yeah, what beast though? Like, <laughs> you're telling me about this beast, but I can't ask you about it? I mean, we'll ask about Marisa, I guess. Hey, you're damn right the poor lass never returned. She came here preaching about the evils of drink. Eric the Unworthy got right furious. He took that missionary and has her locked in his room. He likes to taunt her and even beat her. It's just not right. That Eric's a bully and a braggart and is unloved by the lot of us. But he is a clan brother, and we can't interfere in his business, much as we'd like to. Shame someone doesn't teach the lout a lesson. Oh. <laughs> well, that sounds like it'll be me that'll do in the teaching. You'll find Eric inside the mead hall. Be careful, though, friend. Eric the Unworthy isn't the friendliest Nord you'll ever meet here on Solstheim, or anywhere else for that matter. He's quick with a foul word, and even quicker with his sword. Yeah, well, do you know who I am, Brynjolfa? <laughs> Uh, cause you should. Well, actually, I don't know why you would know who the Nerevarine is, actually, cause you're an Nord on a completely different island, so I don't know why you would know who I am. But I am, I'm very important, trust me. Although, you know, I did just, I have done quite a lot on this island, so maybe you should know. But anyway, okay, so, she is here, that's great, we don't have to go back to the Skull. So, there's nothing wrong with the Skull, so I don't know why that'd be a bad thing, but... I, I think I know what he's talking about with the Beast, but I can't ask him about it, which is, uh, incredibly... Uh, it's it's worrying me a bit, and also this weather is terrible. <laughs> Can't see anything. But anyway, let's go inside, I suppose. Whoa! What? What was that sound? He Hello? Okay, well clearly some shit's gone down. Oh man, I really hope I haven't like messed this up by doing like these two quests. Okay, we've got Ul Ulf Ulfran, who has no oh Nord mead, lots of mead. <laughs> okay, nothing particularly interesting. We got, oh, look at this, this is actually a cool, yeah, look, it actually, it looks like the, um, it does actually look like Thirst Meek Hall in Skyrim, which is cool. We've got And, Andrelheim, who again has nothing interesting. Oh! Eric the, uh, oh, shit. Okay, well, he has a key, so I'll take his key. Yeah, Eric the Unworthy. Well, looks like someone else taught him a lesson. Okay, yeah, see, I think, oh, damn it, I think I kind of ruined this, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if this is going to affect anything, but let's just keep going anyway. We've got Olfiga the Fair, who also has nothing. <laughs> um, we've also got someone here who has some uh, shiny boots by the looks of it. Skjold, Skjoldir Wolf Runner with... Ooh, Paws to the Wolf Runner. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. You don't mind, do you? No, you don't mind. It's all good. Uh, he won't be needing them anymore, so, <laughs> you know, trust me, it'll do better for me. just got a skull here. You want something. I do, actually. I'm here for... 
a, a lady that was kind of kidnapped, but also what the hell's going on here? Shvenya Snowstar. Oh, yeah, your your name sounds very familiar. He he came to the mead hall and killed killed everyone he could. There was no warning. My clan fought bravely, but they were no match. I rained arrows upon the beast and finally drove him off. But he'll be back. It all happened so quickly. We were just standing here, enjoying our mead and the warmth of the fire when he struck. Never have I seen a creature so savage. If I didn't know better, I'd say the monster that did this was the Udafrigt. But how could that be? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. So, tell me about the Udafrigt. I'm very interested to hear this lore, and we'll talk more about why in a minute. The Udafrigt is a remorseless monster with a taste for human flesh. According to legend, he has been sealed within his lair for centuries. The entrance is on the shore of Lake Fjolding, but it's covered with ice. How could he have escaped? Why now? Wait, the strange fire on the lake, you must have seen it. I do not know what sorcery caused that fell flame, but it must have melted the ice. If this is true, the Udafrigt is free to walk to lands. To walk to lands? <laughs> I think I was supposed to say the lands. Knight, the beast must be stopped. Are you calling me a knight? I'm not a knight, but I, I'll take the title. Tell me, tell you about this. You're no stranger to combat, knight. I can see that in your eyes. Do you have the power to slay the beast? Do you have the courage? Skjaldir Wolfrunner was the last chieftain of Thursk. He took possession of the hall when he slew the Gris, slew Gris the Yellow, and placed his head on the pedestal. But now Skjaldir is dead, and Thursk has no chieftain. If you can kill the Udafrigt and claim some kind of battle trophy, you might be found worthy to rule over Thursk. What say you? Will you slay the Udafrigt? Yes, I will kill the Udafrigt and claim the chieftain's throne of Thursk. Your words honour me and my fallen comrades. The Udafrigt makes his lair in the ice caves that run beneath Thursk. The entrance is located on the shores of Lake Fjolding, just to the west of here. I'm sure you will find the creature there, licking his wounds. If you can manage to slay the Udafrigt, make sure you claim some part of the beast as a trophy. Bring that trophy back to me, and I will name you Chieftain of Thursk, for that is our way. Go now, and good hunting. Okay, so this is very interesting. Uh, I really hope... Have we got any more updates about... Yeah, I mean, yeah, Marissa upset. So, I mean, can we actually... I want to, before we go and do anything with the Udafrigt, I want to see if Marissa... Is Marissa up here? Because, yeah, I don't know if this is going to kind of ruin this quest. we got just the chamber door. Hi, who, who are you? But... I suppose Birdie I have at a Jastel. What is it? Yeah, no, I'm not looking for you. You got anything, anything interesting in here? Not really, just some paper. Okay, well, I'll close the door behind me. Another chamber door. Absolutely nothing in here. I mean, it looks like at least the Udafrag didn't uh, didn't mess up up here. Okay, that one's locked. And so I'm assuming it's the locked one. Anyone else in here? No? A very nice, very nice little, um, you know, little, little shindig they've got going on here. Very nicely uh, organized. Nice quality doors as well. So let's open up this door. And here we go, Marissa. I know you're not up to something devious. Uh, well, I mean, I did just kind of open a locked door. But they d listen, I mean, did you not hear the commotion going on downstairs? <laughs> I think I'd be, uh, you know, just a little bit relieved at least that I was opening the door and not in fact the Udafrag. I was going to say it's a good job it was locked, but honestly, I don't think the Udafrag cares if the door is locked because it does not stop him ripping it off the hinges. But or her, are the Udafrags female? I don't know. Anyway, please, stranger, help me. I'm being held prisoner by that disgusting Nord, Eric. Don't worry, he's dead. Uh, not by my doing. I was too late, but uh, he is dead. So uh, uh, sounds like he deserved it, to be honest. So. <laughs> I came to the Mead Hall to preach the way of the Nine Divines, and this is how I was repaid. Well, honestly, <laughs> I think you should keep your religious beliefs to yourself. Um, but it also doesn't really, it doesn't really justify kidnapping, so, uh, or anything else. So, how can I help? I came to Thirsk to preach the word of the cult, uh, to sway the barbarians from their love of drink. That foul Eric poured mead on me, then... Then he struck me. I awoke in his chambers. That was over three weeks ago, by my reckoning. Every day he comes in to taunt me and beat me. The only food and drink I've been given is rotting meat and mead. Please, stranger, you must release me so that we may travel together back to the cult shrine. Jesus, yeah, this guy's awful. Okay. <laughs> will you escort me back to the Imperial Shrine? Yes, I will. Follow me. Okay, let's head back. <laughs> so hopefully they don't mind... That I've taken- I should probably just uh, make a whole little quick save. Yeah, hopefully they don't mind that I've taken her. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm assuming, like, Eric would be the only one that would really mind. And he's dead. So, look, see? He's dead. 
it justice has been served. I mean, again, it wasn't by me, but honestly, yeah, it does really seem like uh, he was served the justice. Can I like just take his stuff and like strip him naked just to <laughs> add insult to injury? Yeah, here we go. So we've got a mixture of um, you know wolf and bear things, which is very uh, very upsetting. You know, I feel like you should stick to one kind of animal if you're gonna wear an animal, but. You know, as each to their own. Okay, so I will escort her back and I'll see you in a second. Okay, we are back at Fort Frostmoth. Is this a shrine? Yes, indeed it is. And we are home. Myself. I have returned your... Ah, yes. Uh, Thank you. Initiate? Girlfriend? Do you have anything to say? My thanks for escorting me back to the Imperial Cult Shrine. If you haven't already, make sure you talk to Jolene. He'll want to reward you for your duty. Okie dokie. And yeah, I'm definitely not about to go and... Uh, <laughs> uh, become the chieftain of those savages you hate so much. Absolutely not. not. I would never. <laughs> By the Nine Divines, you rescued my Marissa. Please take this gold. I know it's not much, but it's all we have in our coffers. I wish I could give you more. Marissa is invaluable to me and the Imperial cult. A little bit possessive there, but okay. And yeah, may I just advise you to um, uh, not bother people with your religion? You know, I mean, listen, I totally understand <laughs> uh, not wanting people to proselytize their religion. Uh, I do believe that, you know, you know, I, I think they have the right to, you know, slam a door in her face and tell her to get lost. But I think they, you know, Eric might have overreacted just, just a touch. Yeah, just, just a little bit, you know. Uh, can we, can we uh, get a, a fast travel <laughs> to Thursk? Is it going to let us do that? Indeed it is. Excellent. Where even are we? <laughs> okay, we're just like in a snow. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, brilliant. Excellent. Puts us right outside. So, what we now need to do, now that we've uh, delivered Marissa back... We now need to go and do this. So, did it say... Oh, no, I thought it said something about killing Eric, but no. <laughs> okay, so, Svenja Snowstorm asked me to slay the Udafrykt, and I agreed. I can probably find the beast in his lair. The entrance is on the eastern shore of Lake Fjolding. Okay, eastern shore. Yeah, I was going to say, well, she... I mean, she kind of, you know, already said it, but... Yeah, I was going to say that, you know, it's probably the, the magical fire, which I'm not really sure how that works. Are we... Which side are we on? Yeah, we are on the eastern shore. Okay, so it should be like li like literally... Oh, right here. Yes, Lair of the... Okay, well, this is about to be pretty quick, I think. I don't know how big this place is going to be, but hello. Knock, knock. <laughs> Anybody home? I'm looking for a big, uh, big, 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 scary beast. Oh, hello. S -s Sir, ma'am. Hi. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look at that. Why, why are its eyes... Why, why is it green? Why are the eyes green? I didn't know their eyes were supposed to be green. Now, are you actually going to be difficult? No, okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. What have you got? What the hell was that? I don't know what that sound was, but that, like, was that like it's growling death or something? I don't know. What was it holding? A severed gnawed leg. Well, I think that's unique, so let's take it. <laughs> and heart of the Udafrag. There we go. Okay, I was going to say, I was wondering if we were going to like cut off its head or something. Yeah, look at that. It's got green eyes. It's only got two eyes, though. Uh, and trolls, because uh, essentially an Udafrykt is kind of just like a really buff troll. But yeah, it's only got two eyes, and trolls usually have... Do they have three or five? <laughs> I think it's five that they usually have uh, in Skyrim, I forget. But yeah, and they're green as well. Uh, the ones in Skyrim are not green, but yeah, it's kind of a special troll. It looks kind of like a gorilla. Like a gorilla, but with fangs and green eyes. Ish. I mean, we're kind of looking at it up upside down, but yeah, it looks more like a gorilla. Okay, Han, do you have anything else in here? I think they are kind of, I think it is meant to be a, a girl, or at least the one in uh, Oblivion is, well, that's the Matron. So yeah, this is very interesting to me because there is an Udafrykt <laughs> in Skyrim, and there's the Udafrykt Matron in Oblivion, which is both very cool. And yeah, so I guess it's more like... Because it's not really like a single Udafrykt, it's more of a, you can see it's clearly claimed a lot of victims here. <laughs> they're, they're more just like really, like I always thought they were just kind of like really buff trolls. But they're maybe a little bit different, I don't know, they're kind of their own separate thing. You got anything else in here? Just a whole lot of skulls. I mean, I feel like, yeah, I mean, by all means keep keep a pile of skulls over here as trophies. But I feel like, you know, maybe don't, like they can't be comfortable to sleep on. But, I don't know, who, who am I to judge your sleeping habits? You know, it's none of my business. Well, there we go. That was awfully easy. <laughs> I thought that would be significantly more difficult, but there we go. It was like li like literally right down. I mean, you can't just like... I, I mean, yeah, I wonder, I assume you can't start this quest until after the column of fire in the lake happens. Otherwise it won't trigger, I suppose. But yeah, I mean, can't you just like, I don't know, block it with rocks? 
<laughs> like, why would why would you rely on the ice blocking it since ice is meltable? Like, I feel like this was inevitable, you know? If it was such a big problem and they clearly know exactly what it is. Oh! Okay, she's standing outside and she's like boarded up the door. That's interesting. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm glad we took Marissa back before this. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I feel, I feel like... I mean, it's literally like... <laughs> it is literally at the foot of their driveway. Why did they not, you know, block this with something? I don't know. So you just can't help some people, you know. Anyway, hi. I'm sorry, Knight, but none may enter the mead hall while... You, you hold the heart of the Uderfrykt? Can this be? You have slain the fell beast? I have. It only took three hits, so it... I don't know. I feel like you guys are maybe just, uh... Have a bit of a skill issue, but, you know... I am I am the main character, so, you know, I do kind of operate under, di under different circumstances. So, you know... By the gods, you truly are a warrior worthy of song. Give the heart to me, then I will make ready the mead hall when the debris of battle has been cleared. The heart of the Uderfrykt will be placed on the pedestal of Thursk. There is but one more task you must complete before being named Chieftain. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, and what is that? You must go to the mountains and find the barrow of Frothmund the Red, the first Chieftain of Thursk. One may only be named Chieftain of the Mead Hall if Thro <laughs> Frothmund's spirit approves. Inside the barrow is Frothmund's great axe. Lay your hands on this weapon and utter your intention to rule over Thursk. If you are found worthy, Rothman will grant, grant his blessing. Go now. Seek Rothman's barrow at the Eye of the Wolf. While you are away, I will see to the repairs of the Mead Hall. Um. Okay, can you give me like some as a, some more specific directions? <laughs> uh, just to, uh, yeah, it was this part of the test. Do I have to find my way there? It's just that listen, listen, Svenja. I'm just I'm a little bit directionally challenged. <laughs> So if you could, you could just like put something on my map, or you would just like tell me which general direction to go in. That would be great because you see the the eye of the wolf uh, doesn't really mean anything to me. I mean, literally, she's not going to give me directions. <laughs> I am excited to go and see Rothman's Barrow because that is also a thing in Skyrim. But yeah, just the eye of the wolf. Okay. And it, yeah, I mean, she hasn't got any dialogue about it. I mean, is will closed. she have dialogue now? No. Chieftain. These are sad times. Okay. I yeah, I mean at least this guy survived. <laughs> I did the eye of the wolf? Where's the eye of the wolf? I do <laughs> I do not know where the eye of the wolf is. Like not not even at all. Why why would she not tell me that? I mean, there's the beast stone. Do we still have the 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 ma yeah, location of the stones? Yeah, the beast stone, which is here. So is this to do with that? Is there a... Is there something on... Solstheim that looks like a wolf? Not from memory. But then again, if it's not in Skyrim... Like, if it's not in Skyrim, then I wouldn't know, so... It might be like a Morrowind-specific thing. Yeah, I mean, the beast stone is here. Is that the lake? So yeah, I mean, the, the beast stone should be, like, right here, pretty much. Like, yeah, literally over here. That's the only thing I can think of. You know, I have the wolf be beast stone is... It should be right over here, so I mean, <laughs> we're gonna have a look, I suppose. Is is there a Hrothman's Barrow right around? Guys, have you seen a Hrothman's Barrow at all? Wow, you guys are beefy. Beefy, yeah, man. The Reeklings, they have some like crazy magic resistance or something. Is there, is there a Barrow around here? <laughs> this is the only thing I can think. I'm gonna have a quick look around just for like 30 seconds, and if I can't find it, I will simply cut. But yeah, I mean, this is the only thing I can think, and I, I genuinely don't know. How she's expecting me to <laughs> find Rothman's barrow if she won't tell us where it is. And I don't actually remember exactly where it is in Skyrim. I don't remember what area of the map it's on. It's kind of like in the middle, I think, somewhere. <laughs> Which is not very specific. Have you guys seen any barrows? I'm not really interested in fighting you guys. Oh, I'm going to have to, though, because otherwise you're going to cause problems. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, I don't know where this is. So I will find it, <laughs> and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so... <laughs> As per usual, uh, we have a classic case of Morrowind just expecting us to figure it out. Uh, from what? Nothing. That That's that's what. Uh, I literally, I don't even know how you're supposed to know where this is, but apparently uh, it's right around here. <laughs> Which, I mean, how how is that related to anything? Like the Eye of the Wolf? What does that mean? <laughs> I mean, I suppose this is kind of like over near to where, you know, Karstag and everything, all of that went down. 
which it, you know is related to the like is there a werewolf something over like i don't even know like how is this related to the uh, to a wolf the and, and an eye of uh, eye of the wolf I, I don't even know what that means anyway what is this yawn okay i don't even know what that is hi guys you're gonna be bad yeah of course you are yeah 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 you can shit talk all you want it's not gonna help you not at all you got a bow that's adorable <laughs> adorable okay yeah so i'm not sure exactly oh oh hi is this uh, is this is this the airship if you, if you remember this was the actual quest that uh you know sent us here in the first place i mean can we even find that we just go all the way back to our quests uh umbra that's not finished okay well whatever uh where where is it pa yeah the patchwork airship yeah louis bichamp yeah so he sent us to look after to, well to find his airship is this it is that well that's an ice wolf i think so uh we're gonna kill it because we need to tell hi yeah hi buddy <laughs> what the hell was that effect snow wolf yeah well we'll take his pelts uh because we need those is this the airship hi captain roberto jodoin okay well yeah i guess oh okay ah airship captain's journal okay journal's been updated how long is this okay not too bad i think it mentioned rothman's barrow there as well Journal of Captain Roberto Jodoin, Commander Bashamp Expedition. Entry 1. Today is the day. Bashamp's airship seems sturdy enough and the crew is ready to set sail. We'll travel north northwest until we reach the island of Solstein. According to Bashamp, the Hrothman's Bane Wolf Formation ah, is somewhere near the Mose Ring Mountains. I see. I see. Okay. I mean, still, how are you supposed to, unless you find this first, <laughs> how are you supposed to to make the connection between the Frothman's Bane wolf formation <laughs> if she doesn't even tell you whatever. The barrow we're set to explore is located at the wolf's eye. We'll get Bashamp's precious magic item and be back at the Guild of Mages in a few days. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Don't write that. Entry four? <laughs> what happened to entry two and three? Okay. Damn conjurers, sorcerers, inventors, scientists, and all their academic ilk. Bashamp promised me this airship would hold together. Promised me it could be sailed just like a sea-bound craft. All lies. This monstrosity is barely holding together. We've been trailing bits and pieces of it ever since we left Al's room. Just an hour ago, we lost one of the Dwemer cogs from the main engine. If this were a, f a frigate or sloop, I'd be holding her together just fine. But alas, trying to control an airship is like setting to sea in a barrel with a spoon for an oar. Entry 6. Land ho. Entry 7. What happened to entry 5? <laughs> it's normal for a crew member to get edgy, but the Argonian finally went berserk. I told him repeatedly before we left Aldrun that an airship sailed in the sky and not on the water. He told me he understood, but his fear of heights must have finally taken sway. In a frenzied state, he grabbed the wheel and almost forced us into the sea. I had no choice but to run him through. Swims and Swells was his name, and a good crew member he was before this unfortunate incident. I would have preferred a burial at sea, but considering our current situation, we had no choice but to toss his body overboard. We aimed for the ocean, but by the time the airship had drifted over Solstein. Alas, I fear we missed, and his corpse landed somewhere on the southeastern shore. Oh, okay, that might be important. Southeastern shore. We've located Rothman's Bane. At least Bichamp was right about something. The wolf formation runs from west to east, with the head and eye toward the eastern end. We'll look for a place to set down, and then explore Rothman's Barrow. Assuming that is where Bashamp said it would be. I would also note that going in that the going is slower than I'd like. There's a fell chill in the air, and I don't trust the dark clouds that have gathered over the mountains. Entry eleven. We've been assailed by a blizzard, the likes of which I have never seen. I feared a storm, but could never have managed and imagined anything like this. Bashamp's contraption is coming apart at the seams, and I don't think we can hold at altitude. There's nothing to nowhere to land, but land we must. Dead. All of them dead. Most of the crew were killed instantly when the airship went down. The few that made it soon succumbed to the cold. I alone survived. Or I alone. <laughs> Need to make a camp. Snow is blocking my way into the ship's hold. I go to the barrow in the, in, in the morning. I can hardly... Oh, I see. Okay. I can hardly write. My hands are nearly frozen. Entry 13. So cold. So cold. So hungry. Madness taking me. I can feel it. I see eyes, night, eyes, wolf, eyes, <laughs> hear them, so hungry, eye of wolf coming, white wolf, so cold, 
Okay, so yeah, he froze to death. Damn, okay. Well, that's very cool. We'll take that, of course. Uh, what's that journal say? I found the wreckage of the crashed airship and read the journal of its captain. It seems the crew had located Frothman's barrow, but before they could set down, the airship got caught in a surprise snowstorm and crashed into the mountains. I need to get the captain's journal back to Louis Bichamp outside the Aldrune Guild of Mages on Vardenfell. It will prove to him what happened to the airship and its crew. Okay, weren't we sent? We were sent to find something. Well, I suppose we were just sent to find the airship, but didn't he want something from it? Crew to in search of a power, yeah, a powerful magic item. What was it exactly? It was, wasn't it a ring? No, amulet. Recover the amulet of infectious. Oh yeah, of course, the amulet of infectious child. Okay, well yeah, of course yeah. And it mentions um, what the hell is? Oh, I see. It's like a a Dwemer gear. Okay, so yeah, we got Frothman's barrow, which of course we need to go into, and Frothman's bane. Now I don't remember which one. Uh, Louis said it would be in. Can we actually get into this airship? Can we? I mean, it said the snow was blocking the way, so I assume not. But we can have a look nonetheless. Oh, look at that! It's like it's got like a Dunma thing at the a Dunma statue at the top of the the ship. I mean, I would think it's kind of a. Cause I don't think Louis Bichamp was a Dunma, <laughs> so it's kind of strange. And none of these guys are Dunma either. But I suppose it's just they were working with what they already had. Here, yeah, look, this is still going and everything. Who are you, Fr Francois Marquard? <laughs> yeah, these guys have nothing interesting. We got a crate. With Cyrodiil Brandy, great. <laughs> yeah, just only the essentials to bring on such a treacherous trip. Can I not get in here at all? No, I guess it really is blocking it. They didn't really want to... Oh, oh, okay. No, it was. I thought it was something uh, something coming out to attack me. We've got Minabi Vira. And yeah, it looks like we can't get in there at all. But yeah, you can actually find this. I mean, it looks a bit different. <laughs> but you can find the wreck in uh, Skyrim as well. Okay, so where where is Frothman's Barrow, guys? <laughs> Uh, and we also, oh, we've got a barrel here, which is trash in it. Okay, great. And another Dwemer cog over there. So, hi uh, guys, have you, have you seen a, a barrow or, or a bane uh, all by the name of Rothmund? No? Okay. Thanks for nothing, I suppose. Let's have a look at my my, my little map that I pulled up. <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, I mean, can we actually, we can't really see it on the, I see. think we can see the start of this, uh, like, rock formation, which is this, this thing here, or mountain, I suppose, is what it's called. See, I guess, is this in the shape of a wolf? I don't know. <laughs> that was never mentioned in Skyrim, but, you know, obviously that's a, you know, much later game, so they could have changed stuff, but, yeah, I mean, I'm not seeing, I don't know, why is it, also, why is there no snow up here? Like, it's the top of the mountain, there, there would be more snow on top of the mountain, that's kind of how mountains and altitude works, I believe, <laughs> but perhaps not. Okay, yeah, seriously, is that a, I can see a boar down there, where is this place? Where is this place? I thought it was so easy. But apparently not. I mean, oh, you know what? I am actually, I'm looking on my <laughs> my little map on online and there is actually, to be fair, a formation of rocks that does indeed look like a wolf. Uh, but I don't, that doesn't really help us right now because, of course, I don't have the same view <laughs> on my map because it's so small and shitty and you can't zoom in. So, I mean, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Where is this place? And I also want to go into Frothman's Bane. Uh, also, like it, uh, she said that we had to find like the like speak the magic word or something, but she didn't tell us what the magic word was. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. Like I don't know. I, I'm assuming it'll only like give us one option, really. What the hell is that sound? I swear I can hear like a wolf in my right ear, but I'm just imagining. Oh, wait, is this? Oh, I think this is it. They, yeah, look, see. So I mean, we can't see it. But I think these these chips of ice, they like form like a wolf, vaguely. So, and that also looks like a wolf to me. Are you a snow wolf? You are indeed. I will take your stuff. Thank you very much. And is this Frothman's Barrow? Yes, it is. Okay. So, we found, found Frothman's Barrow. We'll get rid of this guy as well while we're here. Excuse me, I said we'll get rid of this guy. Thank you. Okay, so let's go in here and we will also try and find Frothman's Bane. Probably at the beginning of the next episode. Some they call me Frothman's Bane. With midnight teeth and moonlight mane. I am the wolf one soul may tame by uttering my given name. But speak the truth for those who lie. Gain not the wealth beyond my eye. Answer false and evermore. Closed shut will be my icy door. What is my name? Um... 
I don't know. <laughs> How are we supposed to know this? I mean, I think, yeah, let's just say nothing and walk away. You did not speak and walked away. Quite wise, not knowing what to say. You may try and name me again. Oh, okay, great. Is there like... How the fuck are we supposed to know what his name is? <laughs> I just, but yeah, look, this is like his eye. I mean, yeah, you can't really see it, but you can kind of see. It is in the shape of the wolf. If you look on, if you look at the map on the wiki, it does actually look like a wolf, but... I, how are you supposed... Like, because you can't see it here. Oh, it is... Oh, Rothman's Bane. Are they the... I'm sorry. What is this? It's called Rothman's Barrow, but it's... And he did mention Bait, so are they the same place? Because they're marked as different places on my little map. I am so confused what the hell is going on. Like, I think Rothman's Bane should actually be down here, if that even is a separate... Locate who? Someone just said you're bested, but I- Oh, hi! <laughs> okay, well yeah, I guess we found out who it was, just a berserker, okay. I- Do we need to go to Rothman's Bane to find out his name? <laughs> How are we supposed to know his name? This game. This game infuriates me. Do you know his name? Because I don't know his name. I mean, I can just look it up, obviously, but that's lame. <laughs> Where? Why do they do this? <laughs> I hate this game, guys. I really do. <laughs> I try and, like, you know, I try and just not show it, but I do. I really do kind of hate this. I mean, is that? No, because, I mean, if you... The thing is, it's so small, you can't see it, but I'm looking at my map, and that is definitely... It says Rothman's Bane, but it's in the position of Rothman's Barrow. So, I mean, if you look at... Let's just go... Actually, let's just go back up here, and then I will look at my little ice formation to my right. And, so, if you follow this, then Rothman's Bane should be, like, literally right here. If I'm calculating this correctly. Now, we all know I'm very navigationally challenged, so I could be wrong. But, it, like, it should be, like, right here. So I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Guys, I don't understand. Like, how are we supposed to know what his name is? Hmm? How are we supposed to know? And it said, you know, it'll be sealed forever, so I assume that'll just mean, like, quest failed. I mean, that would be kind of cruel, but... Yeah, I assume it does mean just quest fail, because, yeah, it's Morrowind. This game doesn't exactly mess around. Like, am I... <laughs> I don't understand. I do not understand. Okay, well... Yeah, I'll figure it out then. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so get this. <laughs> what we're supposed to do is, apparently, after we've received this quest from Zvenya, apparently we ask her about Little Secret, and she'll tell us the secret name. But, okay, now listen. Every other time when you press Little Secret in Morrowind, it just gives you some random bullshit that's not even relevant. It's, it's just, it's essentially like the rumors thing. It's completely irrelevant. Okay, so now why? I, how? I don't like this game. Anyway, I know, I know the name, so we're just, we're just gonna go Some ahead. They call me Hrothman's Bane. With midnight teeth and moonlight. I, okay, we've already heard this. We're just gonna go I ahead. It, wolf, it's on, 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 on Jake. You spoke the truth and won the game. For on Jack is my given name. You have gained entrance to Rothman's Barrow. Thank you. Finally. Okay. Oh no. Are they gonna be? Are they gonna be Draga? Listen, I don't deserve Draga. Okay. After everything I've just been through, I don't deserve Draga. Are they gonna be Draga in here? I don't like the Drago Frothman <laughs> or or or, or Jack. Was it was that your name? I forget exactly how you said it already. It, are the Drago in here? Because I really don't like the Drago. Okay, listen. I look. I'm a guest here, and I'd really appreciate it if you could take my uh my, my comfort into account. Oh, that looks like an axe in a stone to me. Any any Drago? I don't want to be surprised. So don't you know? Don't don't go launching any Drago on me. Looks like there's no Drago, so I think we're all good. Hopefully. Okay. Well, yeah, that looks like an axe and a stone to me. So, very cool looking. Uh, let's just uh, loot this guy. You got nothing. Okay, great. You, okay, that's just a pile of bones. <laughs> Is that Hrothmund? Who knows? We've got a star room there, which we still can't mine for some reason. Ancient wooden chest. Hopefully he doesn't mind me taking this. Listen, I, I think I've earned it. Okay. So, Rothman's axe. So, this actually looks really cool. Yeah, very cool looking. Okay. 
Can we just touch it? Okay. You grasp the mighty axe of Frothmund and utter your intention to rule over Thursk. In answer of approval, Frothmund grants his blessing. Okay, look at that. We got like, yeah, look at that. We got sparkles. It was an actual fact. Yeah, it is. Frost, yeah, Frost Shield, Frothman's Blessing, five points, really? <laughs> really? And Sanctuary, five points? Okay, I don't really... Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a pathetic blessing, but we've got a cool bubble around us. <laughs> that's something, at least. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. So, yeah, I think we may we may have also been able to find the password uh, in, in, in the airship quest. I have no idea where this, this Bane location is, though, but... Whatever, let's just let's just go back. <laughs> I want to finish this quest in this episode, so let's just go back. And oh, we stuck in the snow. No, we're all good. Uh and yeah, I I we might have been able to find it somewhere else. I don't even know, but <sighs> let's just uh yeah, just just deep breath. This game this game is just great, guys. It's great. I do there's absolutely nothing wrong with this game. It's the best game ever. <laughs> okay. Hi oh we got we got new friends. Okay, hi guys. We could just got another okay well he met the beast and cut quite short its evil feast and when the order fragged it fall the chieftain came and claimed his hall nice song okay well there we go Svenja, i'm back all hail the chieftain of thursk slayer of the udafrekt may the mead flow forever yeah i really would have appreciated it if you just told me what the damn password was. Hmm? Um, why is it- why was it- I- whatever. <laughs> I know that Frothmund has granted you his blessing, for I could feel it in the air. I mean, can you not see the- the bubbles and the sparkles around me? I think that kind of gives it away. The heart of the Udafragd has been placed on the pedestal for all to see. You, Avelin, are the new chieftain of Thursk. Ruling the Mead Hall is great work, and I understand you may have business elsewhere. I offer to serve as your advisor and second in command. And will oversee the Mead Hall's affairs in your absence. Now, do we have any Mead Hall business to discuss? Or maybe you'd like to relax in your quarters? Uh, my quarters? Your quarters are upstairs, Evelyn. The chieftain's room is the one with the wolf squid the, <laughs> the wolf skin rug in front of the door. There you can rest and have your any privacy you need. Oh, and if you haven't seen it already, I've left a gift by your bed. It is a true chieftain's weapon, one I hope will serve you well. Ooh. Might be unique, might just be trash, who knows. What about Mead Hall business? As Chieftain of Thirst, there are certain things you may order the clan to do. As your second in command, I will make sure your orders are carried out. So what is your command, my lord? Okay, so we can order mead from Skyrim, collect Mead Hall profits, send out hunters to kill s ah, snow bears and snow wolves and return with their pelts. Uh, I... Mm. I want to see how much profit we get. Collect Mead Hall profits? Great Chieftain of Thirsk, I'm afraid you're unable to collect any profits from the sale of the mead. We have run low on the sweet nectar and don't have enough to make a profit on. If you direct me to order mead from Skyrim, I will be happen to, happy to do so. Okay, so I guess we need to do that first. <laughs> order mead from Skyrim? Yes, Great Chieftain, I'll put in the order for mead. Should arrive from Skyrim in about a week. Okay, fair enough. Uh, can you also send out hunters? Yep, send out hunters, they'll kill as many snow bears and snow wolves as they're able, and bring back their pelts. Okay, great. Cool, so there we go, that's that. We'll have to come back in about a week to see what they found. And this is, of course, our room. And yeah, what, what is this that she's given us? Ooh, it looks enchanted. Clan bringer. Ooh. Rally humanoid, 10 to 20 points for 120 seconds. Sanctuary, 1 to 5 points. I don't know what sanctuary is. <laughs> and fortified personality. One to five points. Is that really necessary in a sword? I don't know, but it is unique, so we will take it. And yeah, we're uh, getting pretty high on carrier weight, so we have to drop some stuff off. Can we actually... Can we saw stuff in here? I assume we can. Oh, what's this? Is this a skill book? No, it is not. I kind of want this effect to go away now. It's kind of getting annoying. Yeah, I'm hoping that we can store stuff in here. So let's just... Uh, it doesn't really matter, to be honest, but we'll just drop our, our, our pelts off. Titan arrow, we'll put that away as well. <laughs> Hersey, oh yeah, Hersene's ring. Damn, it's worth, yeah, 6,400 6, gold, nice. Did we, ever, did we ever look at that? I don't even know, and I guess it doesn't do anything in this game. Pawds of the Wolf Runner, we didn't actually look at those, did we? Fortify Athletics and Fortify Speed, 10 points. That's pretty good, not better than the Boots of Blinding Speed, though, so. And yeah, we just got a severed Nord leg. <laughs> Hopefully that's not one of uh, her friends 
uh, legs because that'd be, uh, you know, kind of a little bit awkward, but she doesn't need to know that. Okay, well, there we go. Thank you very much, guys. I mean, we're kind of, you know, a dark elf and not even remotely a Nord, but <laughs> I I'm glad that, you know, uh, we you think we belong here? You know, I, I feel welcome, so thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to leave this episode here. In the next episode, I think we will, uh, I want to finish this airship quest and I also want to go to the coast and see if we can find that Argonian's body. Uh, so I'll probably do that off camera to be honest and I'll just uh, start the episode with that. Uh, but yeah, I want to do this airship quest and see if I can, like if we can actually find that amulet and stuff. And then we have some more side quests to do. So for now, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I haven't, but I hope you guys have. <laughs> like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next episode.